going on everybody it's dude's done it welcome to the channel today we're going to be going over how you can make money selling your unwanted gift cards everybody inevitably has a stack somewhere of gift cards that they've received whether it was for your birthday Christmas some holiday and somebody who thought they knew you they thought they knew you so well they said you know what we're gonna get them a gift card and the gift card they gave you is really completely worthless to you. So you're stuck with this gift card in your wallet. And if you're not careful, some of these gift cards carry fees over time where they'll deplete from the balance. So your $100 gift card that grandma gave you four years ago, it may not be worth $100 anymore because there may have been fees deducted from it for non-use. Today, we're going to investigate a few places that you might be able to exchange this gift card for some cash. and be on your way with cash in your pocket rather than the gift card. Now, I will tell you, you're not going to be able to take these gift cards and sell them at full price online and receive full price for them. It's just not gonna happen. Inevitably, you're going to take a cut somewhere along the line because that's how other people are going to make a few dollars on it. Whether it be uh, you know, selling it to a private company or selling it to a private person, you're going to have to discount it one way or the other. But if you happen to have, let's say, a $100 gift card to Victoria's Secret, and you know what? You just don't use it, and you're not going to use it, you can go places such as eBay. Um, eBay has quite a big market of cards on here. We're just going to search, say, for a Victoria's Secret gift card, $100 value. Just so we can get an idea on a $100 value gift card for Victoria's Secret, and they're all different. Every store will have... Some stores will, will be worth more money for the $100 gift card, some stores will be less. But for today, we're gonna go with Victoria's Secret gift card, $100. We're gonna search that up on eBay. And right off the bat, with active listings, we see we have 12 results of active listings. Of the ones listed, 85, 87.50, $79, $95, $90. Uh, this is just coupons. $94.95 because everybody wants to save four dollars and five cents. Ninety-three seventy-five for some more coupons listed in here. So what we want to find out is these are the prices people are listing them for. <coughs> are these the prices people are buying them for? So we're gonna scroll over here on the left side and we're going to go down and check our sold items. Solds are gonna give us just the solds. 171 results we're gonna these are ended recently so these are the most recent first these are rewards cards here's a Victoria's Secret gift card $100 they paid $84 with $3.78 shipping $85 with free shipping some more coupons uh, $87.50 with free shipping $95 with $3.78 shipping I am not sure why they paid that much for it however <clears throat> there is a possibility when people are shopping on eBay they earn the eBay bucks which means they get a percentage off of uh, of a purchase or maybe they get an inbox coupon not everybody gets them so eBay kind of selects um, I'm not sure how their algorithm goes they select who gets coupons and who don't for instance there was a coupon out the other day for a 15% off so it's not bad if you had a 15% off coupon and you're buying a hundred dollar gift card for close to a hundred dollars you're you're saving 15 bucks so actually you're not doing horrible you're getting it for about the going price of like 85 dollars which is seems to be right around ballpark now for you as a seller to sell this on ebay for you know 85 dollars you have to keep in mind you're not only going to lose the 15 dollars on the front end you're also going to lose out on obviously a stamp you're going to put a stamp on there so that's 55 cents unless you happen to have one of the forever stamps laying around your envelopes gonna cost you a few cents I tell you all these things because so many people when they're shipping something out they overlook that and they're like hey I made X amount selling you know uh, a gift card when in reality they didn't factor in all their costs so 85 bucks so you're automatically taking a $15 hit right off the bat then you got to take the hit on the stamp and the envelope no big deal you also have to remember that 
eBay is going to take their fee of 10%. And then the money is going to your PayPal. And your PayPal is also going to take 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction. So when you tally that all in, you could be getting a lot less than the $85 that you're hoping to get. You probably get you know, closer to somewhere around, you figure 13% less than this, 13.5% less than that. So it's really in the $70 range, $75 range, $72 range, somewhere in there. I'm not doing the math right away. So eBay is a good place to go. You could probably move it quick. It's got a large audience of people um, shopping on here and probably won't sit too long. As I said, there's 171 that have been sold. Another site you can go check is Mercari. Um, a lot of people don't know about Mercari just yet. Mercari has been around a while. Um, they're more of an app-based uh, site. So you, although you can access them on the desktop here, the app that you download to your phone is far smoother and far better as far as navigation goes. Um, the cool part about Macari that I like is they have these little sold in the last 10 minutes and they can just roll through categories. Now Macari, uh, in a lot of people's eyes, may very well be the next eBay. We'll save that for another video. We're going to go ahead and check on here what we think. Victoria's Secret gift card, $100. Um, and let's just see what they have here. So, Victoria's Secret gift card, $100. There is one listing for Victoria's Secret gift card, $100. And it is not even for a gift card. It is for the You So Sexy Perfume. I am not so sexy. Let's back out and just do Victoria's Secret gift card. And we'll see what comes up here. 30 items. We have holiday tags, fragrances. I'm not seeing anything on here that is a gift card. These are all um, per perfume sets, holiday gift boxes, an empty gift card box. So if you have the gift card you want to put in a box, you can buy that. However, not a single gift card is listed for Victoria's Secret. That's strange. Uh, you know, I wonder if they sell gift cards through here. Let's just check for gift cards. 999. Wow. Yeah, they do. There's some iTunes gift cards on here. So, Victoria's Secret, there's not many on here of. However, they do sell gift cards on here. The difference between Macari and eBay is Macari's only going to, it does have a smaller audience, but their fee is only going to be 10%. So if you're selling that gift card, you're saving yourself 3%. With Macari, when somebody pays you, the money gets deposited into your Macari account. It stays with Macari. Once the person who bought it from you goes on Macari and rates you, that's when you're able to rate them. That's when the money gets released to you, to your account. Now with Macari, you have two options. You could either take that money and spend it back on Macari right out of the account that it's in, or you can have them direct deposit it to your bank account. So in order to use Macari, you do need to have your bank account set up and hooked up through them. And we'll do another video showing you guys how to set up Macari, how to set up eBay, um, because those are two legitimate ways uh, you can make a few extra bucks. And that's what our channel is about. It's how can you make some money? We've done a lot of things already. We're going to try new things and see what happens. Um, we're going to even go into, you know, 12 year old, 13 year old, 14 year olds. What can they do to make a few extra bucks aside from maybe chores? Um, so back to our gift card, we know that we can sell it on eBay. We could sell it on Macari for a little bit less, but there's also sites out there that do exchanges for gift cards, such as card cash, we're going to renew our session here. Card Cash is a site where you can buy and sell gift cards. Um, you buy them at a discount. You also sell them at a discount. So we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to go ahead and um, take a look at what we can put in. We're going to go ahead and view Victoria's Secret. We're going to say it's got a one. Oh, come on now. Why are you giving me trouble? Let's refresh the page and see if that makes a difference. All right, there we go. 
I'll just scroll down to Victoria's Secret. Just have it be in here. Victoria's Secret. And we'll do a $100 gift card. And get offer. Um, they're offering us $70 cash or trade and get up to 13.5% more. Oh, so that's interesting. So on card cash, you can go with your gift card and maybe you want to say hey you know this hundred dollar victoria's secret gift card i can't use but i really like to shop on amazon you can get seventy two dollars and forty five cents for it on amazon seventy seven thirty five at amc movie theaters seventy six dollars and thirty cents at bass pro shops so that's nice they give you an option of upgrading to uh other things if you're a sports fan 79 bucks i mean that's not too bad it's overstock hotels.com so there's quite there's there's a couple different options here that you can uh, you know that you can do um, for your gift card, and that's pretty neat. I didn't know that you could also trade up and earn a little more. So cardcash.com, not a bad thing. However, you're taking that initial hit. It's seventy dollars if you're taking the cash. Remember on eBay, you can figure about seventy three dollars after your fees and everything. Um, seventy dollars cash not so bad there's other sites out there that do the same thing card fool for instance is the same setup they run gift cards in exchange for cash so we'll go with selling a gift card let's see what they got going on here statistics show that if you keep a gift watch the video we're going to Enter the gift card store name, Victoria's Secret. And we're going to say it's $100. $100. $100. And then we could choose how we want to be paid. So these guys will do an Amazon gift card with 6% more. Or mail me a check. Let's just mail me a check and see what we got. So we can list our card. We can get paid faster with an eligible balance of $100. You can instantly earn $70. We sell a card directly to card pool. There's no waiting. The sale is immediate. The payout is available in one business day. So again, it's going to be the same $70 that we were going to get on the previous site. Or get paid more. Enter any payout up to $90.45 based on similar gift cards in the marketplace that we recommend. So you could list on their marketplace, wait for someone to buy the card, and the payout's available when the buyer receives your card. So they offer a marketplace to sell them if you don't want to take their 70 bucks they said no problem we'll go ahead and put this so you can enter your desired payout here um you know i want 105 dollars no nope, they won't let me do that <laughs> that'd be a way to make money sell your gift cards for more than they're worth um so they do have a couple of options here on card pool on how you can sell it again based 70 bucks um your payout may be higher. I, I, now, I wonder if they take a fee. The sale is not guaranteed. That's obvious. Well, it doesn't seem that there's any hidden fees behind the card pool site. Um, doo -doo. Let's take a look. This is a buys and direct from the customer. They, have, they include guaranteed free United States Postal Service shipping. Uh, the marketplace. Here we go. The marketplace is an alternative to selling a card directly to card pool. You simply enter the gift card information and select the get paid more option. Uh, if your gift card lists no physical card, you need to download and print the shipping label provided by card pool after it's sold. So they're providing you the shipping label, which isn't bad at all. That's not bad. Um, it's not currently available on the mobile app, but you can still visit cardpool.com from your mobile browser. It currently accepts gift cards from a number of different retailers. Each retailer has its own unique redemption rules and restrictions. So. That's not so bad. I like Cardpool um, because they're going to offer you the label too, just to ship this thing right out to wherever it's got to go. I'm not quite sure. They must take a cut on the other end of the marketplace, and that's how they're making money. I mean, I know they're making money if you if you sell a gift card directly to them. However, because if you buy a gift card, I mean, Victoria's Secret gift card. Uh, let's just take a look. Yeah, $200 value, 175 bucks is what you're going to pay. It's a 12% discount. And that's direct, I believe. So there's a bunch of them on here. Now, if you really want to do your homework and you want to find out where's the best website to sell it on, where can I find out? Instead of going through all this site by site by site and entering the information constantly, there is another 
site that I found. It's called Gift Card Granny. Um, Gift Card Granny I found unique and I and I haven't reviewed this site or used it for my own personal use yet to make money. Um, but basically you're going to enter your gift card brand right here and it'll pop up and we're going to say it was a $100 gift card and when we press get offers now what's cool is this gives me the different sites that they're partnered with with the offer they have a rating system on here the method of sale and the payment method so you know we can look at the different pricing 7405 $74.56 $72.70 $70 $68.67 $75.99 $75.32 so this is showing eBay with PayPal payout of being the most lucrative at the moment so we're going to view that offer just to take a look see and see what's going on with it your first listing so this would be basically selling through PayPal or through eBay which we've already covered on the first step now let's take a look at some of these other ones. I'm not sure what this one is here. Cardkangaroo.com. So similar to the other sites, you can sell and buy gift cards through Cardkangaroo.com. You have Card Up, Savia, Gift Cash, Card Pool, GC Spread, Clipkart, eBay, and then Savia again. And I'm not sure why there's two different Savias. But Gift Card Granny is... Um, a good site to go to if you want to get an idea of what your gift card might be worth without going through each individual site you just hit on to gift card granny type in the name of the gift card type in the amount you have and, and it's going to give you a rough idea um, of what you can get out of your gift card and as we suspected eBay is close to being the highest amount and I probably guess the reason for that is the amount of people that shop on eBay so there you have it guys that is going to be a video real quick on how you can sell your unwanted gift cards make a few bucks from them if you're lucky you get close to what you had on the gift card um, I do advise you before you sell your gift card on any of these sites call the number on the back of your gift card make sure that the amount on the gift card is the amount you're placing on on these sites because as I stated previously some of these gift cards carry fees some of them carry you know, non-use penalties, stuff of that nature. Guys, until our next video, we'll see you around. Go out there, grab your used gift cards, make yourself a few bucks. If you like the video, don't forget to comment below, like the video, subscribe to our channel. We're gonna put out a lot more stuff that's gonna show you how to make a few bucks because at the end of the day, dude's done it.